Last month, I had the honor of participating in the YEP at Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. The YEP, also known as the Time Out of Time, is a five-day period in between one year and the next. It is the shortest month in the Mayan solar calendar, where the Mayan peoples dedicate themselves to give offerings and gratitude for what's been experienced, learned, and received the previous years, and to pray for clarity on the path to come. During these five days, we gathered around the sacred fire to pray together, a time of purification, to give thanks and to gain clarity, both in our individuals and collective paths. We received the new Mayan year, which started on February 19th in the Gregorian calendar, and we also received the year's guardian, the Ahaunoch, the guardian of the sacred universal intelligence. I am extremely grateful to the Sutujil, Quiche, and Cachiquel elders for opening the doors to their traditions ceremonies, wisdom, homes, and hearts to us so openly during these days, for welcoming us to the university without walls, for the teachings around the sacred fire, the many cups of cacao, and for welcoming us with open arms. I have been learning virtually from some of these elders for years, and it has been a dream come true to be in ceremony in person with them, learning from their journeys and traditions. From everything that we experienced during our time together, I have very little footage, but I have gained profound lessons and inspirations. One of the biggest lessons I'm taking is the reminder that we can do many ceremonies and works, work with different plants and elders, but we have to start with inner reconciliation. Conectate con tu maestra interior. Connect with your inner teacher. Connect with your inner wisdom. And from there, all sacred, peaceful relationships may start unfolding. You know those friendships that feel like home? The ones that go so deep and nourish in the beautiful simplicity of every day. Those friends who are always living their lives connected to their hearts and even though you don't talk or see each other very often, they always feel like arriving back home, arriving to a safe space. This is how I feel my friendship with Florencia is and I cherish it so, so deeply. After finishing our time in prayer and ceremony, Flo and I took a day to travel around San Marcos La Laguna, where she showed me the places she loved the most about this town, and we had a few hours to share a cup of cacao and take it all in together. We walked the streets of San Marcos, had cacao and coconut water. We shared our dreams and some of our integration that was just starting. We talked to some locals, took in the beauty of the lake. Of course, we found a local bookshop and got some herbs. And we gave some offerings to this beautiful lake that has been holding us so beautifully during our time in ceremony. After coming back from Guatemala, I got myself in an accident and was bedbound for a couple of weeks. I carried boxes that were way too heavy for me and threw out my back. 
I spent two days on the floor wearing diapers as I literally couldn't move. Thankfully, I didn't need any surgery or intervention, and it was just a matter of resting until my back healed. These last few weeks have helped me learn on such a deep level that there's a limit to how much I can carry, physically and emotionally. I don't believe that doing such profound work in Guatemala and then coming back home to these are just a coincidence as both have been very profound teachers of how much I still need to learn that I can't do it all and to learn how to put myself and my health first and foremost. These are things I've been working on for years, but I feel I am touching base on this on a deeper level right now. Slowly, I got the strength to move from the floor to my bed, to walk to the bathroom with my husband's help, to then slowly being able to move alone. I am so thankful to Evo for always being so loving and present, but especially during this time, taking days of work to take care of me and help me so, so much. A few of my friends sent me teas and flowers, books and games. My family checked in on me very often and I felt this was a big invitation to really rest and welcome in help. I share this as I know so many of us go around life putting work or anything else before our own needs. And I feel so many of us can learn how to ease in a little, learn from the snail medicine that everything will be accomplished at its own time. I am thankfully getting better slowly but steadily. I am now spending a few hours a day back at my studio working and soon I will be back, but with a different approach to my own health. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and inviting me into your lives. I wish you a beautiful day ahead.